I have some unfortunate bad news today. So the last video, we ended off with getting the butterfly from the pipe here. I teleported back here, and I lost about the next 10 minutes of footage from this point forward. I'm actually really disappointed in myself. I haven't lost footage in years, and I try to trace back what happened. I think I probably just accidentally deleted it, which is really stupid. But um, yeah, so that's the bad news. The good news is that those 10 minutes weren't that crazy. We're not missing any boss fights or anything like that. And the even better news is that I'm very meticulous about keeping all of my previous saves in every single game I play on this channel, exactly because I was afraid that something like this would ever happen one day. And so I was able to find the save from the point where I started losing the footage, and I can walk you through what happened in those 10 minutes. Before moving on to the boss, I was walking around the factory a little bit more, and I remembered that there was an area that we missed last time. You might remember that we were here before for pulling the lever that lowered the acid. And I came here. I went this way in the pipe, but I forgot to explore this side. Right, there was a little corridor here. We never went in. Beyond here, it happened to be a door. A door that I'm gonna ignore because I want to pick this up, even though I'm not actually saving anything from this save. Resistance ampules, cool. Oh, this links to a... Oh, this was a ladder for the area where we fought that shield guy. Which is kind of useless now because I'm, I don't think I'll ever even need to be here again. But this door is opened by the Trinity key that we got from the dude at the phone booth. Three create one. You who opened the door, be one with the great ones. They mentioned that this is some old crot ruling family thing. Maybe it's like three important families or three important people in one family. Question of the day. Did this factory worker ever think he would be destroyed like a puppet? Yeah, so I'm not even sure what that's even trying to say. Hmm. Are they saying that... Well, is the factory worker... Is it a puppet or is it a human? Are you saying that puppets are so real that even they think they're, they're human and that they wouldn't be destroyed like a puppet because they don't even realize they're a puppet themselves? Something like that? Don't know why we can't open these normally. <laughs> we look like a posh kid, but we're so rough with everything. Blue Blood's tailcoat, quartz. Blue Blood's tailcoat. Formal attire of the stalker organization of bastards. The blue tailcoats are the bastards' pride. The bastards who didn't fit in with Krat's ruling class dreamed of overturning the world. They teamed up with the foreign alchemists of the Isle, opening the door to Krat's golden era. Teaming up with the foreign alchemists. The Isle? The alchemists came from somewhere then, I guess. Where exactly is the Isle? I'm not sure. And there you go. Looks like that. Pretty cool. And there's some music that plays in this room specifically, too. I'm not... Well, either way, probably not the last time we'll be seeing that phone booth guy. Or hearing him. Seems like this is gonna be something that comes up time and time again. And then, on this side... You know, we have the, the creepy puppets coming out of nowhere. Yes, yes. Okay. Oh my god! Oh, come on! Yeah, that's how I got distracted, because these guys were so freaky, I just completely forgot about the other side first time around. And then here! We didn't go into that little offshoot. I never came back for it. Not much going on here, though, just the, the two dudes and that little thing that we want. Thank you.
Ow. And then this. Saw blade. A saw blade that can be thrown. An enemy who is hit by it will receive continuous slash damage. Some throwable weapons boast great destructive power on their own. When combined with the strength of puppets, nothing more needs to be said. I feel like this almost implies that we're going to be seeing puppets in the future that have saws for hands, which is going to be fantastic. And then at this point, I realized that we gathered two quartz. We got one from the safe just now, and so I went back to the hotel. Welcome to Hotel Kraut. How may I be of service? I also realized that Paul and Dina sold two quartzes, which means we, have, we can have four in total. Yeah. At the P organ, I ended up getting increased pulse cells for sure. I got... Increases ergo upon eliminating an enemy. I think my thinking here was that getting this kind of thing would be better earlier than later, so we can stack up on the ergo earlier and faster. And then... Perfect Guard Fable Charge Enhance. Charges Fable when a Perfect Guard is successful. Encourages doing Perfect Guards. Not sure how often it's gonna happen, but it's a thing. <laughs> and that unlocked Phase 2. We can do Increase Pulse Cells 2. Retain Guard Regain upon Pulse Cell Use. Retain Guard Regain when receiving damage. And add Amulet Slots. Just feel like, I mean... It seems kind of crazy, but yeah, the best one would probably be to get another pulse cell, right? This is going to be the biggest thing that increases our survivability, so I went for that as well. Doing enhance, and this opened up a second section on the bottom here for every single type of thing we can get. Effect. Here I got enhanced perfect guard destruction. Yeah, I don't think this was something that we had explicitly talked about up until this point, but whenever we perfect guard an opponent, some of the opponents' weapons will glow. And so it looks like what happens is if we perfect guard enough times, then the weapon will eventually just be destroyed. Hopefully we'll see it more if we get this. And then I also got Enhances Pulse Cell Recovery 1. Yes, making the pulse cells worth more. Yeah, so I think this upgrade will really increase our survivability here then. Just getting two more pulse cells plus each pulse cell being worth more for healing. For every little bit of healing. And that's about the end of the lost footage. Thankfully, right? It was just me walking around, collecting some stuff and doing some upgrades. And so I thought, now we could probably go try to fight the boss. Alright. There might still be little spots I've forgotten about somewhere, but for now, I think we must have gotten at least 95% of the place. <gasps> well, that was fantastic. Sorry, guys. Would you, do you mind just leaving me alone forever? Oh, it's so distracting that this is the exact same as the iPhone alarm sound. It's the exact same. Even earlier in the other place it wasn't, but here it is. Authorized homo machina only. Oh, got a big arena. Whoa, you kind of look like you're from near Automata or something. It's a circular shape. Oh. Never mind. King's Flame. Foco. You look like you're gonna be hot. Oh! That was fast. <laughs> okay, we're already learning something new. We can't hide behind the pipes. Oh! This guy moves fast.
Oh, I couldn't even dodge away in time. I'm not blocking anything right now. Hold up, hold up. Maybe we'll hide behind a... a pillar or something. Which we know doesn't work. No! I'm greedy. I'm getting greedy. Ooh, he kind of blocked through me. Because I didn't have enough stamina, I think. Whoa, where are you going, my man? Oh, what's he doing? Good thing I, I knew that was going to happen. Some fiery stuff. Can we avoid that? Maybe let's just spend a little bit of time trying to learn his attacks and stuff, huh? Woo! Mmm. Oh. This catching on fire thing is gonna get old pretty fast. Oh, I died. I died in the fire. Okay. I see, I see. Um, just preliminarily looking at this, I think we'll be fine. I feel like we'll be fine, especially after getting that many new pulse cells. Yes, I'm wondering about overheat. If the fire damage builds up, it'll become overheat, and then we'll take fire damage. And slower HP recovery. Also, slower guard regain. We should increase our fire resistance. I don't have very many of those purification modules. Do I have any more in the storage? I'm not sure, because even in this grabbed Watchman fight, that was something I used very often. Now, we have more resistance ampules, but not the purification ones. Oh, maybe I gotta buy this somewhere or farm it from people around here. I'm not sure yet. Special purification ampule. Remove shock break disruption. So these are different. Special status ailments, attribute status ailments. Yeah, this is the right one, but do we just... Is there a different thing that we can do to get rid of the fire? Should I... Well, we should probably maybe chug the resistances first. And I think we should probably try using the Legion arm a bit more, too. The other guy, the other mini-boss guy that was here before, seemed to work well for him in creating stagger windows and all that. Ooh, chill, please. Chill, everybody. Hopefully, this one won't be too bad, though. I think we got him to, to about half health that time. We just gotta learn a little bit more. Which includes pressing the right button for entering the arena. <laughs> so should I just... Should I take a resistance potion right now? Hmm. Maybe I should just parry that one. He has a very wide range. Okay, I can't... I'm greedy. I'm greedy. Oh, he's already overheating me a little bit. Just by doing that. Couldn't get up in time. Hold up, hold up. Are they all talking, by the way? They always have these subtitles. Even that part's kind of near Automata-ish, too. Up. 
far too early. Oh, I just died! I didn't notice my health was that low. Let me practice a little bit. Oh! If he swings from the bottom up, we have to block two hits before we <laughs> try to get in there like that. Oh, did I parry both of those? Nice! Don't get so greedy. Whoa, 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 hold up, hold up. He hits really hard. Okay, I have the timing down for this one, I think. The big fury attack, I can sort of do that one okay-ish. Oh wow, that guard regain. I have to stop blocking. I have to dodge more, I think. Because his hits just do way too much damage. It's not economical enough to just guard it. We have to perfect guard it. So unless if I can guarantee that, I don't think I even should be guarding. Where the hell are you going? Oh, he's gonna... I don't have very many of these, buddy. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up! Chill. Chill, all right. See, look at how hard he hits, my goodness. Ah, oh, I can't even run away because he just nails onto me. Oh, overheat immediately after I get hit in the second phase. Okay. We need to dodge more. So I'm noticing my normal weapon actually has lower attack than my legion arm. By numerical value, I should be using this legion arm more then. Oh, you don't like electricity, do you? You don't! Look! Hold up, hold up. Oh, dang it! I just missed the stagger. I don't have any Legion magazines in my item right now. Next attempt, I'll try it. But this time I can't. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, but this goes in the entire room. I can't stop that. Oh, I just let go at that last moment. Is that my blood? My god. It's not blood, right? Ah. I'm burning to death. Hey, do you remember the guy with the, this weapon here? I have a new idea. That guy seemed weak towards electricity. Will I have a better time with this weapon? Try it out. Hmm. It might be nice to buy just, um, have different weapons anyway. But he doesn't sell any of those ampoules, unfortunately. Just the resistances, but not the purification ones. Legion magazines. I'll buy a few. I purposefully brought a electric weapon today. 
with my electric legion arm. Plus I brought legion magazine so I can refill my legion arm. Is it gonna go any better? I hope so. Even the Fable Arts is electric for this one. Oh! The distance is so much shorter. Oh, I can get more hits in. Because it's a faster weapon. Look at it, though. It's so electrified. Hold up. Whoa, its health is going down so fast. This could be it. If I calm down. Oh, it's gonna do a... Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's gonna do overheat! I don't have a thing to stop it. I just gotta tank it a little bit. Hold up. Oh, my health is just draining because I don't have any more ampoules. That's so sad. But clearly the strategy is doing something though, I think. Oh! Oh, come on, hit! Okay, that's... This is new, this is new. Okay, just... Just keep going. Oh, if we dodge, the overheat goes away. That's good. It's making my fight harder that I don't have the ampoules, though, seriously. I gotta stop trying to block, because blocking is not working out. You like that, don't you? Hide behind the pillar, it's okay. I can hide here. I need to get away faster. Do I just stay away? That goopy stuff on the ground. Some overheating thing. Oh my god. Goodness. Oh, God, 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 no, 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 no.
Wake up, dude. Oh no! We're getting close. It might not be this one, but it'll be soon. It'll be soon. Okay, calm down for a sec. Now you're gonna do your thing, right? Okay. Oh god. God, don't die here. It's not like that. I still have many pulse cells left. Oh! Can't see him. That's not good either. I knew that was gonna happen. You come to me. You come to me. I got him, man. I got him. I have your number. Oh, I couldn't see that and parry it. Don't falter now. I have your number. 
I have- I know I have it. I told you I have it. I have it. <laughs> the ending could have been faster, but... I think it's, um, it's good to practice restraint, too. We have to not get influenced by that HP bar. Keep playing as you would normally, right? Okay, this one... I don't know how many attempts I did, because honestly, in the beginning, the attempts ended very quickly, because he hits very hard. But things started looking up when I realized that the electricity is what he seems to be weak against. Because then I had my Legion arm, and I was stocking up on Legion magazines just in case. But I couldn't really hit him as reliably. And then I remember that the, the guy was selling this electric weapon, which clearly I think was doing a lot of the, um, the staggering, more so than my previous one. But the reach is not as much, so even though it helped me a lot in defeating Fuoco here, I don't know if I'll keep using it. It's great though. Not quite used to how- because this is a faster hitting weapon. Which means that we have to have more hits. Hmm. There are some pros and cons to that, but maybe it'll be easier to show if we... if we see an enemy. Some pros and cons that I've noticed so far. Anyway, this one didn't piss me off. In the, I mean, in terms of how long it took me to defeat him. Yeah, I have no idea how many attempts that was, but I, I feel fine right now. And that was kind of fun. Uh -huh. Turning points was realizing that I probably shouldn't be guarding everything. Yeah. Guarding? is good for the guard regain, but it's not good if it hits so hard that you can't even regain your health back with guard regain. So for this guy, I think for the fury attacks, it was good to parry, but everything else, try to dodge. That worked out a little bit better, especially because I have the double dodging, right? So that made it even easier. Now, did we... What did we just get from him? Flame Grindstone. Temporarily imbues weapon with fire. Ooh! A special grindstone that can be equipped to a grinder. It can be triggered by using the grinder when guarding. Because it is fragile, it cannot be used often. Special grindstones were made to respond quickly in battle. These grindstones made from artificial gems sharpen weapons and temporarily imbue them with special abilities. Can I... So this is forever, right? I can keep using this forever? Right? How do I- how do I add it to the... Not unequip. Oh, and we also got this too. King's Flame Ergo. To Fuoco, the ordinary puppet, protecting the factory's fire was a sacred duty. As soon as he learned of the King of Puppets, he bowed down to a new god. King of Puppets? Is that what's making everyone go crazy? Alright. <laughs> I... you might have seen me switch between the stuff down here. So I think that battle probably was made harder because I didn't have any purification ampoules, but thankfully to remove the overheat, I could have dodged or just stayed behind the pillar so that I didn't get hit. But I was ready. I was readying those throwing cells because I was thinking, hey, if he's like really, really low on health, I can just throw one over and he'll die, right? <laughs> Even though in the end, I didn't use it anyway. Yeah. But this weapon is great because the, the fable attack is... how do I show it? Greatly increases electric blitz attack temporarily, and Fuoco clearly... I'm not sure if there's a, like a proper way to see it, but clearly he was weak against electricity, much like everybody else in this factory. Because they're all puppets, I guess. Okay. Did we get anything else? Other than all that? Not really. I guess not. Okay. Mmm, should I keep using this weapon? I like the long reach. Yeah, I'll keep it like that for now. I am slightly heavy with the stamina, but it's okay. Yeah, so the thing about the guard regain... The guard regain... Well, if your, hep if your weapon is slower, but it hits for more per hit, then it means that every hit you do for trying to gain back health with guard regain, you get more health per hit. It's actually easier with a slower weapon. If that makes any sense. Because with a faster weapon, you do get more hits in, but every little bit of health you regain is very, very slow, and it's just... You just don't get that much back. Which is part of the reason why switching to dodging was probably the better deal there. Instead of trying to gain health back, why don't we just not lose health to begin with? 
Now what? Now what? King of puppets? Why are you making all the puppets crazy? Or maybe more importantly, why am I not crazy? Am I supposed to be crazy? Oh, wow. Wow, it does make a difference, huh? I thought it wasn't on. Just wanted to make sure we get some butterflies and all that. Fire canister. Throwing fire? Okay. Wait, didn't I want to try- How do I put the thing on the grinder? Special grindstone, right? It can be equipped to a grinder. Oh, do I have to maybe go back to the hotel and equip it? Maybe? I can't act on it. It won't let me do anything with it. Yeah, I'll, I'll look into it when we go back. Doesn't seem like it's something we do here. Hello? What's up, guys? See, the guard regain. Oh, we can test it out right here. See, two hits means that we get all of our health back. But if I do a guard regain with this one... One, two... Two and a little bit more. Hard to see because these guys... Foco hit way harder. So it took away way more health. At least this one- oh, I guess this fight also taught me that I think elemental is probably quite important then. You know, damage-wise, this weapon and this one... This one is less, right? Numbers-wise. If you add up the physical plus electric blitz attack. But, yeah, the element played a, a part in it. And therefore, we can't just be brute-forcing it and not taking that into consideration. I'm s I speak like I'm an expert. I'm just sharing my findings so far. They may or may not be correct. Disclaimer. <laughs> we are in the mines. Gunpowder? <laughs> I just wanted to see if that would really happen. Okay, because we saw one earlier. I thought I hit it, but I guess I didn't. Oh, you're such a dummy! Why'd you do that? You burned yourself. Yeah, I guess we can mess around with the other weapons a bit. Gemini's iron protection. I had to need it. We are out of the factory now then, aren't we? Into the mines. Are you gonna make me go back to the hotel, or should I tell... Should I just know to go back to the hotel to tell my dad about it? Is that guy gonna try to hit me from afar? It's a much faster weapon. I'm scared that if I switch between different weapons of different types, I'll get messed over by the timing. The timing differences, you know? Now, I don't really want to walk across that because I'll probably... Hold up. Can I just run across, you think? Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh my goodness! Oh my god! Hold up! Don't throw stuff, please. Please! I swear to goodness gracious. Oh, goodness. At least you guys don't throw stuff. That's- ah! <laughs> Died to a random guy in the mines. Yeah, you know what? Typical. Typical. I had four pulse cells left. But that part was a bit of a trap because... Yeah... How do we get the guys from afar? I don't really want to use any... You know the thing about how the throwing stuff? The throwing items, they're all consumable, they never come back. So that basically just means I never want to use them. 
And even in, even during normal encounters. Maybe I should have stuck to the other weapon for now. It's a bit more responsive. Right, so I, I thought I... I thought I tried hitting that earlier and it didn't break. No. Alright, let's see if we can... Get our air go back. I guess if a weapon is faster, that means that you can be more responsive with it. You're not locked into that one attack. For a million years, like with a great sword. All right, let's see if we can... Excuse me, um... I would like to not kill myself, if that's okay. Oh, what the hell? Oh, you were behind the cart, that's right. Oh, thanks, you helped me in breaking this. And then, uh... Mr. Dummy Guy here. Oh, oh, oh! Guess who's the bigger dummy? Me. Okay, I can't die, okay? I have I have 10k ergo waiting for me. I can't die. <laughs> Let's play it safe. But I feel happy about getting past Foco, so I'm like, woo! In mini celebration mode right now. I'll be happy until we have to fight the next boss, at which point I'll be stuck again, and I'll be probably frustrated. But I'm not frustrated this time, like with the scrapped Watchmen. That one I got close to. It took a while. It's not that I was pissed off about not being able to be beat him, but I was pissed off about how much time it was taking. Ah! Oh my fucking god! Oh. My god. That was so stupid! You know, I, I just realized that this is exactly how they get you. Because when you do boss fights, they give you the ergo outside of the arena anyway. So those are the spots where they don't expect you to lose ergo. It's when you let your guard down in these areas. That's exactly when it happens. Damn it. Ugh. Okay, at least, at least ergo is an infinite resource. We can get it back. And even on the way back, I got 600 back already. <sighs> Losing 5,000 uh, stings a little bit, but we'll, we'll be okay. Okay, how am I supposed to get past this, though? The right way. Oh! Oh, there's another way here. Hold up. Is there a stair? Yeah, there is a ladder. Ah, so I could have gone down this way instead. The less risky way. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm so upset that that was over something so stupid, though, but... <laughs> something about... Uh, overconfidence being a slow and insidious killer. But you know, you know, the thing about making mistakes is that fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Or something like that, right? Ooh, that guy had a fury attack. I thought he was a regular guy. No? All right, asshole. Could you just hold on for a second? Whoa! I kind of thought that was gonna happen. Okay, you're you're a little bit too much. All right, all right. This isn't. I haven't picked up my ergo yet. Okay. Please. So this is the kind of situation where you would not. You would probably want to take one of those uh, Gemini Gemini protection thingies. Please. A girl can only take so much, okay? You already took you already took 5k ergo away from me. Just leave me alone, please. And what for? This wasn't even the way to go. The stupidest thing is that I got past those stupid fire guys already before. It's these pitchfork guys that got me the first time around. I haven't seen the next Stargazer yet. I'm letting my guard down way too much. What is it? Big pipe. A big pipe. 
We can read it by the way, right? Made by Vanini Company, there are signs that the discarded tool was used as a weapon. When the puppet suddenly attacked, technicians scrambled to make weapons. In need of something powerful, they looked toward the pipe wrench. The handle... well, they were technicians, not warriors. Unfortunately, none managed to wield a blunt weapon properly, until every last one of them was killed. Electric coil stick head? Humans have always feared anything that excels beyond them. Puppets were already their loyal servants, but humans have created a new natural enemy that is sure to attack their weaknesses. Really, are we that smart? The powerful electric blitz was clearly effective in killing puppets. However, its inventor failed to realize that it was also effective on humans. <laughs> but it's good to know that puppets have this electric weakness. Is that constant? I guess so. Okay, so this is a large blunt weapon as opposed to a, a regular blunt weapon. Oh, the damage is much better. It's better than the greatsword by default. And it's faster? Is it faster? Well, let's try it out. I'll try it out on this, this slot then. Whoa! It's huge. Oh, it's slow. It's slow. That's what large blunt weapon means. Okay, give it a go. Or something. Where the heck was the actual way to go? Where that pitchfork guy came out of? Those explosive barrels, I guess I could have used them to my advantage, but it's so easy to just get done in by them as well. What were you guys doing here? Wait, which way? Oh! Are you coming? Can you not? Could you not? Okay, if we're gonna fight, we better not fight here. This whole... Oh, not this... You again! Oh, no, 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 no! Go. Oh, oh. I am overheating to death. This is a problem. Ah, <sighs> oh, damn you. I wasn't ready for this. Okay, I need to make it past those- Okay, I don't need to go back up there anymore because those overheat guys... I need to deal with them. This area... <laughs> Give me a break! I just fought the dude, man! <laughs> I have nothing to say. I realized having the other weapon equipped... Having both of them equipped was putting my weight as heavy, and I think my stamina not coming back was probably a big reason why that went pretty badly. Okay, can we please get past this area now? I'm, I'm so sick of it. <laughs> if I want to get past it, I gotta play better. I'm back to this weapon for now. Just this one. Oh, there's actually an ergo thing. Oh, frick. Whoa, buddy! All right. There was an ergo thing there. I didn't see the... Again, I don't have any purification ampoules, not helping me out in any way whatsoever. Stay away from the explosive stuff, I'm scared. Okay, yeah, that dude is gonna throw stuff at me. At least we got that back. I don't know where you're going. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, mister. If that even is your... No, that's not your name. It's not. I'm just gonna 
Okay, if I want to fight the guy, I gotta get rid of you. I can't have you continually throwing stuff at me like this. And neither... You! Not you, either. But then I just gotta get rid of all of them again. I can't just get one and not the other. Oh. Okay. You know what? This works. We don't need to go up. Now, what was... What was here? Special purification ampoule. I don't really know. I think I have a few of these. But they're not the blue kind. They're differently colored. It removes shock, break, and disruption. Which is not... None of these are for heat. So I don't need it. Okay, wanna try again? We have five ampules this time, at least. Oh, I think uh, maybe it's about a time to take a break soon. <laughs> After defeating the, the boss, I'm done for the day and I just gotta get rid of this, dude. Alright, mister. You're afraid of electricity too, I remember. See, I can't get back enough guard regain just by doing this, because it takes so many hits to get back. I did sort of get it all back in that case, but not every time. And especially not when Fuoco hits so hard. Oh. Oh, god. How did I not get hit there? I don't know. This guy doesn't move from his original spot, so whenever he charges a fury attack, it's okay. Buddy! Okay, calm down, calm down. We're fine, we're fine. Carrier's amulet. What is that? Is it okay for me to stand here and read this? Increases weight limit. The puppets walked and walked. They saved their final step for the barren swamp. The puppets' grave. Wait, they, they went there on purpose? It sounded like they were becoming sentient because of something called the King of Puppets. A puppet called the King of Puppets? And then what? They're headed for the swamp? What does that sound? crumbling dirt. Thank you. Thank you, Stargazer. Oh my... I have never been so glad to see a Stargazer. Moonlight Town. Cloudy evening. Okay, should we go back? Should we go back and... Oh, I... Di <gasps> I didn't find that puppet that Vanini told me to find yet. But the area that we're in right now, are we still considered in the factory area or are we somewhere new? Moonlight Town. Oh, I should probably go back for that then, huh? Where was he? Was there more? Oh, I should go back. Hotel Krat has a thing. Hello, Sophia. How are you? I'll use my power to help you. Maybe I should raise my weight a little bit. I don't want to be heavy. But motivity... I want to... Oh God, I want a little bit of everything, really. Go with that for now. And... Ah, if it isn't my savior. Oh! Glad to see you made it back in one piece, my friend. I thought you wanted me to find your butler. You found him already? Buongiorno, and welcome to the house of Vanini. I am Master Vanini's major domo, Altunella, at your service, sir. The house of Vanini carries only the finest in luxury merchandise. I believe you'll find all items to be both superior quality and distinguished provenance. I am certain you will be able to find something that suits you, sir. At the house of Vanini, even priceless things have a price. Every item is a treasure of distinguished quality and superior provenance. 
Okay. All this to say you saw what? Motivity crank, technique crank, advanced crank, balance crank. Workshop union spaced armor liner. Multi-layer liner, fiber reinforced liner. Reduces damage from strike attacks, piercing attacks, slash attacks. Okay, I see. Electric Blitz Grindstone. Oh, I probably want that. Although I don't think we can have more than one at once, right? Wait, how do we... How do we use it? I still... I need to figure that out. Are these better than what I have right now? 339. What a... Liner. Liner. Wait, I should look at my equipment. 435? Yeah, probably I should- wait, hold up. The one I have right now is called the Workshop Union Certified Liner. At the house of any. Workshop Union Certified Liner. Now these are better. This one looks like- Look at the picture, it looks broken. <laughs> it looks broken. Realistically, which ones do we see more? I honestly don't even know the difference between strike attacks, piercing attacks, slash attacks. I guess slash attacks would be the ones I get hit by more. I... Mm. I'm trying to look at the difference between all of these. This is 9.9. .9, Pierce 9.9. .9. But Pierce is an attack type that I feel like doesn't come up as often. Just based off instinct. Like earlier, the pitchfork guy. That's a Pierce attack, right? But... Yeah, maybe I'll do Fiber Reinforced Liner. It's just based off gut feeling. I don't know which one is better. I don't think there is a better one. It's just based off... Uh, your preference? I guess? It's heavier. Ooh, but the- everything else is actually a little bit worse because... Hmm, it's a little bit worse than what I had, except for the... Pierce. There you are, my boy. My savior, yes, that's the word. You took back the factory and I cannot thank you enough. Without the factory, no more new puppets. The army has run out of recruits. My friend, you saved, well, all of us. Ah! But listen to me going on and on about my concerns, and I don't believe I've even introduced myself. Signor Lorentini Venigni. Gentlemen, bon vivant, and at the moment, utterly at your service, my friend. If the name Venigni rings no bells, perhaps you've heard of Kratz, Prince of High Society. That is because they are one and the same. Just two of the many names I've collected in my three decades here on Earth. While I sincerely believe meeting Venigni is its own reward, I have not rewarded you in the more uh, traditional manner. Please, take this. My newest prototype. It'll be safe with you. It's a grinder stone that keeps granting special attributes to the grinder. Oh. I hope you'll put it to good use. Yeah, I probably should have come back here even earlier, huh? You can equip a special grindstone on a grinder through a Vanini or a Stargazer. There are different types of special grinders that grant different effects to your weapons. Oh, you can only use the effect in battle only once, but it re recharges when you revive or visit a Stargazer. Good for bosses, maybe? I wanted to look at the description here. Stalkers wanted to be able to respond dynamically to the constantly changing battlefield. Special grindstones were made for this. Okay, cool. Thanks, Mr. Vanini, I guess. Although I don't understand why you're being so damn haughty already. <laughs> He's like, oh, meeting me is such a, you know, such an honor for you. You're the one... You know, the current puppet crazy is... The craze, puppet, oh, puppet frenzy, is because of your company, right? I thought you were a nice, honorable man who were who was setting out to fix all this, but I don't know about your attitude. Uh, then my eyes do not deceive me. I never imagined I'd actually see it again, and in the flesh, so to speak. I just designed it, set it aside, and never got back to it. 
<laughs> Genius in the claim can keep one quite preoccupied, I'm afraid. Oh you my god, please be quiet. Really interested <laughs> in the arm, I see. Then, my friend, you shall have it. It just needs a few mechanical adjustments to fit your um, particular needs. And frankly, this design is almost child's play to me now, so let's start by making it a bit stronger, shall we? I will also add what we brilliant inventors oh my call God. modularity. <laughs> that means it will be much easier to improve and repair since you'll be able to use commonly found parts. You might say this arm's new abilities are... Uh, legion! Ha 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 ha. Too much? It was too much. You know what else is too much? Five lines of subtitles displaying all at once. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? Do you... Switch grindstone of grinder. We will just... I think electric might be good for now because it's good against puppets, right? Yeah. To those in battle, the grinder is their lifeline. The sharpness of their blade can mean life or death. Weapon durability decreases each time. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Uh... How do you feel about the puppet frenzy? No one, not even I, know what started the puppet frenzy. Why? That day of all days... Ah, it was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. Puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but... The only one I know with that kind of power is the King of Puppets himself. I... We... Need to learn how this happened. It's very bizarre to me that you say the King of Puppets... You talk about it like it's not a man-made puppet. Are there non-man-made puppets? Puppets don't exactly reproduce. But maybe it could be made by another puppet. Anyway, that, uh, you know, <laughs> this is this is related to you. Don't talk about it like it's not related to you. It's, it started because of your company. Of course you're curious. Pulcinella has been restored thanks to you. In a small way. Mostly it was me, but, uh, you know, genius never rests. Except for beauty rest. Pulcinella <laughs> 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 isn't just my butler. He's my family. The only one I have left, really. I won't forget what you've done for us. If you ever need anything or find yourself in a spot of trouble, call on your friend Venigni. It's nice that he sees his puppet butler as a family member, though. Yeah, so to him, the puppet frenzy is like, why, why is another group of people, like another race of us just randomly going mad? He's not thinking about it like, oh my god, the robots are malfunctioning. I always welcome friends. I guess that's it. Okay, thank you, Mr. Vanini. Did you talk to my, my father? Vanini craft machine. Craft lesion arm. Flamberge, Wave of Fire, Strength, Combustion. Oh wow, okay. I quite like the Deus Ex Machina. Hold up. Flamberge, a lesion arm full of burning flame. When its muzzle is open, it burns the enemies before you. Deus Ex Machina, a lesion arm that can install a motion-sensing landmine. When the landmine is buried in the ground, it explodes upon enemy detection. Ooh. Pandemonium, a legion arm that fires a sticky ass acidic substance. It corrodes enemies that step into the wide pool of acid it creates. Aegis, a legion arm that can block enemy attacks with your left arm. When it receives a blow, the embedded device explodes and deals damage to the enemy. Ooh. Attacks people when you block? That could be interesting. Yeah. Legion plug. We need a legion plug. We don't have a plug yet. Oh, we have a high-powered flame amplifier. So we can make... We can make this? Wait. Oh, the first 
The first thing is the actual arm, and then these are like... Changing the arm, upgrading the arm. I see. Falcon eyes, a legion arm that fires armor-piercing shells from a distance. The launch shells explode soon after they land. Okay. I guess we'll try out the flame just to try it out. What's this? High-powered flame amplifier. Oh, I need... I need more? Okay. Switch legion arm. Okay. Cool. Modify. Legion caliber. I see, I see. Full minus. Movable charge. Okay, let's just upgrade the, the flamberge right now. Increases fire attack range. And we'll see. Thank you, Mr. Vanini. Even though that wasn't for free. Oh, wow, when did you build this? Was this always here? This little model of the factory. Felicitas salutations, my friends. My name is Signor Lorenzini Venini. No doubt my reputation precedes me. <laughs> I come to you with only the most peaceful intentions. And as a true friend of Clark. Behold, Venini works. Where we will honor the city of Clark's history while forging her brilliant future. When I broke ground on this place, we broke ground, I certainly didn't do it all personally. This was a simply empty space, a blank canvas. But in the hands of a maestro, it became a work of art. All my life, from boyhood to this very day, I have been derided for my, let's say, single-minded focus on a lifelong obsession with building animated, automatic, autonomous automata. But today, just look before you. Venini Works is ready to start building the future. Kratz's golden era is waiting to be built. A dream of the future we can only create together. Help me make this future come true. Join us. For this moment in history will happen only once. Join Venini, your friend for life. Mm, that advertising doesn't make it sound like he thinks puppets are friends. It, he's just making puppets to sell. But he happens to like his butler the most, I guess. Amatsa, that is one slick prototype. The train. You think it's a tram for crickets? What? What is your obsession with crickets? Are you, are you some cricket thing? Amatsa. Oh, uh, I'll I'll give this stuff out a try, like right here. Ooh, very cool. But does it deter anybody? How does the damage work? It damages them, but do they... Do they get burnt afterwards? Do they get overheat? Yeah, they do. I see. But I don't know if it staggers them, though. Something to be mindful of. Oops. Attack pattern wise, I don't know. I might I might like the great sword a little bit more. I still miss it. But we have to move away from it eventually, right? We can't use it the whole time. How about the other weapon? The elemental is nice, I'll say that. But I can't have them both equipped. I can't. It'll make me too heavy. The big pipe wrench is better in every way. It better be better in every way because it's gigantic and heavy. But I have less time to prepare for blocks and... No, I have more than I think I do. Okay. I mean, I'm not sure about the fable arts for this one. P 
patient smash. Gather your strength for a strong hit. Hold down the attack button to activate a stronger attack. Payback swing. Strong forward slash. Use it immediately after guarding an attack for more power. Um... I'll give it a go, I guess. I like the electric coil too, though. Love the extra effects. One or the other. Adjusting to a new weapon style probably just takes a little bit of practice. I shouldn't shy away from it just because I think, you know, I, I want to use a particular type forever. But I suspect certain... Actually, I have no idea. Like, certain weapons are good for certain builds, right? But I, I don't really know what I'm doing with my stats anyway, so I'm like, oh... Oh, but this is slightly heavy even just... Even just with this weapon here. Mm, in that case, I'm gonna go back... Yeah, maybe I'll just stick to the electric coil for now. Really? The kitty is gone. Father. I did the thing with the stuff. Remember, I didn't design every puppet in Krat. It is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the Grand Covenant. I've no idea how many. I remember a few Ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the Frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet? Maybe we'll have to meet the King of Puppets to find out. I like how he says it like, Oh, other people made the bad puppets that are breaking the Grand Covenant. But no, not me. My puppets all follow it. Yes, because I've been so puppety so far. And I haven't been lying to get into this hotel, right? The city of Krat. Ask me any- Uh, anything updated? Thanks to you, the factory is out of the puppet's clutches. Benini Works can resume making all sorts of supplies, not just more puppets. The puppets are still a problem, but at least they don't have endless reinforcements. I knew you could do it. I'm proud of you, son. Thanks, Dad. So, should I head to the cathedral next, or...? The cathedral is famous for its There's wise an archbishop and there. kind archbi- Okay. I suppose we'll end up at one of the other spots just simply by following the path that we were going on. Sounds good to me. Anybody else? Where? Is the kitty around here somewhere? Does the kitty move around every time? It wasn't in that same spot anymore, for sure. Oh! 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 Ah. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have said anything. I shouldn't have said anything. Welcome to Hotel Krat. How may I be of service? I wonder if that's like some mini puzzle. Should I? Am I supposed to chase a cat around or is that just a random thing for fun? I have no idea. I'm good. Thanks. Eugenie, do you have anything I could do with you? I know my way around a weapon. Should I upgrade the coil? I do have a lot of hidden moonstone. Like a lot. Like a lot, lot. Hmm. <laughs> This one needs Crescent Moonstone. I'm assuming there's no other reason why we have Hidden Moonstone. I'm just scared we won't ever be able to get it back. Yeah, see, these three weapons, they're all Slash and Stab. There's not many... None of these have Piercing. Which is why I also think that the weapons of my enemies are similar. Piercing is just rarer, on average. I, I think I'll just... Um... Okay, let, let's just upgrade it for now, I guess. We can take it apart. That's something that we can consider, too. I have been sitting here staring at the weapon menus for a little bit, just trying to understand the system a little bit better. I feel like I have a better understanding now. But in terms of 
what to do exactly, maybe takes a little bit of experimentation. You know how the weapons are split between the blade and the handle? The blade is responsible for the raw numbers of the attack. Physical attack, electric blitz, all that. And then it looks like the handle here, the ability scaling. I finally figured out what this means because I had to look it up. I had, I don't know how you were supposed to know this. Just based off previous souls knowledge that I don't have, maybe? Mm, I feel like they didn't really give me a pop-up for it, but anyway. So if we look at the electric coil handle here, it says motivity C, technique D, advanced B. Apparently this means if you want to take full advantage of this weapon, of this handle, then you want to level up the skill that the there's the highest letter grade in. So for this electric coil handle, it would be advanced B. Which is a bit concerning because my highest leveled skill is actually motivity. Again, this is the kind of thing that makes me feel like, oh, maybe I shouldn't be using this then, huh? Motivity, B. I was looking into my all of the weapons I have so far, and the three handles that I have motivity B in are the greatsword, the wrench, and also the baton. Another way we can change the handle attributes is the crank. That's what the crank stuff behind. is for. So even though the electric coil handle by default is a C, we can use a motivity crank and make it B. Is it worth it though? I'm not really sure exactly. And what that changes is, you can see here, if it's a C, 78 plus 25 is the base damage, or uh, 78 is the base damage of the weapon, 25 is from my skills. If I change the motivity, it goes to 32 instead of 25, so it goes up by 7. Probably the kind of thing that's cumulative and will end up mattering a lot later on. It is quite a bit though, if I look at it right now, because the electric coil, we only get plus 25 and 7. Yeah, like, so that's 32. Whereas for the greatsword, I get 67 right off the bat, just because the motivity levels are different. So I'm a little bit hesitating here, but... Mm, I don't think I have to think this hard right now though, because I haven't really run into a wall yet. It definitely felt like... For Fuoco? I'm just wondering, because I, I definitely felt like it was easier with the electric coil. Which tells me that raw numbers aren't the only thing that matters. Should I just keep going and see if we run into a wall, we'll think more about this? Maybe. Yeah, for now, maybe I'll just acknowledge that I, I'm starting to understand the system now, but what to do with it for now? Um, Yeah, I'll just leave it alone, maybe. The baton. Yeah, I'll just have this stuff here for now. I might not be able to pick up more weapons though. I think I can only pick up five maximum. I do really miss my greatsword, and then I also want to try the wrench properly. Hmm. So if I if I try to I assemble a different weapon weapons. right now. Right. One way to change the stats is to directly change the handle. The other way is to change the handle of the weapon. If I keep the electric coil head and then add another handle onto it. Would that be any better? The problem is, none of the other handles have advance. You can see that my physical attack is going up. It would be going up if I change the handle, but then the electric blitz attack goes down. By almost the exact same number as the physical attack goes up. Maybe I'll just leave it alone for now. Yeah? Think more a little bit about this and we will... Yeah, just pay attention. Because if the puppets are weak against electric stuff, then having electric stuff around probably would be a, a good idea. I'll use my power to help you. Thank you. Oh. I am able to wield Ergo. They call me a listener because I can hear Ergo. I inherited the power from my mother, who hated it, called it the devil's power. So I kept it a secret that I could talk to puppets. Now you are the only one my voice reaches. So I beg you, please save Krat. Being able to talk to puppets is a secret skill? It's a rare skill? Do you mean like telepathically? Like how you talked to me in the beginning? Not like how we just normally converse then. Special power. You're special, huh? Okay. Do I have any... 
Yes, I do. I have plenty of stored ergo here. Let's use it all up, too. Vivid ergo. Radiant ergo. Damn, gotta get bit here. Dim... Dim ergo chunk. Radiant ergo chunk. Chunks never lie to you. Fragments never lie to you. You can't lose them when you die. <laughs> Thankfully. I'll use my power to... Yeah, I'm thinking about the handle stuff again. Right now, my highest skill is motivity, but if I want to take advantage of that handle, then... Ah, uh, that's why the weapon stuff are... Hmm. Uh, weapon, weapon 2, legion arm in the middle there. C, D, B, I see, I see. That's what it's supposed to be. It's showing you the stuff so that you can plan out your skills accordingly, which I haven't been doing at all. My advance is so low, I feel like... It might not even be a good idea to invest in it. What if I just keep pumping up motivity? Wouldn't that be... Would that be so bad? I don't know. I think we should do a little bit of capacity, though. Yeah, I don't know if... Mm, bit by bit? Maybe... Vigor? I'll go Vitality for now. A bit more. I want to increase motivity, of course, but... Is it really gonna do too much for me at the moment? Plus one! <laughs> plus one for this weapon. Oh, but it pluses one for the Legion Arm as well. <laughs> uh, well, I'll do, I'll do a Vitality for now. Vitality, you can never go wrong with it. More HP, all the time. Close your eyes. Come to me. Feel alright. Just dance with me all. Oh. 